Welcome, my name is Katrina Bryant and I'm the Manager of Program Administration for the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation. The Beckman Young Investigator Program Officer is Nicole Patras and I'm currently overseeing this program while she is out on leave. I'd like to welcome you to the Foundation and tell you a little bit about us. We're located in Irvine, California and we support researchers and nonprofit research institutions in making the next generation of breakthroughs in chemistry and the life sciences. We were founded in 1977 by Dr. Arnold O. Beckman and his wife, Mabel, with the intent to support US institutions and young scientists whose creative, high risk and interdisciplinary research will lead to innovations and new tools and methods for scientific discovery. The Beckman Young Investigator Program began in 1991, and it's to support the most promising young faculty members in the early stages of their academic careers, in the chemical and life sciences, and particularly to foster the invention of methods, instruments, and materials that will open up new avenues of research and science. The BYI program guidelines are as follows. Projects should be truly innovative, high risk, and show promise for contributing to significant advances in the chemical and life sciences. Proposals should represent a departure from current research rather than an extension or expansion of existing programs and postdoctoral work. Proposed research that cuts across traditional boundaries of scientific disciplines is strongly encouraged. Proposals that open up new avenues of research in chemistry and life sciences by fostering the invention of methods, instruments, and materials will be given additional consideration. This program strives to provide funds for promising young scientists who are early in their career and have not yet received a major award from another organization. Projects are funded typically for a period of four years 150,000 annually for a total of $600,000. The foundation does not provide for overhead or indirect costs. To be eligible, applicants must be within the first three years of their tenure track position or an equivalent independent research appointment at a US academic or nonprofit institution. Tenure track appointments must start after August 6 of 2017 and before August 6 of 2020 for the 2021 program. Candidates must be citizens or permanent residents of the United States at time of application. Applicants with conditional residency who've received their form I-797 are eligible to apply. Candidates can apply a maximum of two times. Candidates may have no more than 225,000 in direct annualized external funding. All funding must be taken into account with the exception of department-wide instrument grants, startup funding, and transition grants. The Beckman Young Investigator Letter of Intent is an open call, and institutions are not limited to the number of applicants who can apply. Here's some additional details regarding the Letter of Intent. Um, there is a PI profile, a scanned, we ask for scanned copies of your citizenship documentation, there's a 1200 word proposal and the 1200 words does not include figure captions or references. There is a bio sketch, a research support template, and we ask for institutional endorsements. With regards to the 1200 word proposal, new for the 2021 program, in an effort to avoid bias in our review process, the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation will hide information pertaining to an applicant's name, gender, 
ethnicity, citizenship status, and institutional information from all reviewers. To assist in this process, we ask that within your 1200 word proposal, you do not include your name, gender, gender identifying pronouns, or institutional information in the technical proposal. If you include references to your own publications in the proposal, do not use any formatting markings, asterisk, bolding, italics, etc., to identify yourself within the list of authors. Lastly, in naming your file, simply title it Proposal. Do not include your name or institution. Here are some important dates. The LOI is due on August 3rd. We will notify applicants if they have been invited to the full application, and that will be by January 11th, when those will be due. In-person interviews will be April 15th through the 16th, depending upon the COVID pandemic. And we'll be announcing awardees in May, and our annual symposium is in August. Just a reminder that late applications will not be considered. Please plan to submit your application early because the system has on occasion slowed down with heavy traffic and may cause submittal pro problems. Frequently asked questions, how do I break down my funding? In this example, the form is from 2020, but um, when you enter the application portal, the new 2021 template is in there with the accurate dates. Box A, break down the funding using the total amount versus direct amount. So in this example, there's $100,000 in um, over four years with 80 going in direct funding to the PI. Boxes B through E, are simply breaking down your annualized direct amount. Please note, if your award starts mid-year relative to our chart, report the funding you expect during the months listed for the Beckman Young Investigator Program. Frequently asked questions, um, what funding should I include? Please include all current and pending funding including grants in which you are a co-PI. If you're a co-PI, include in box A the total award amount and the direct amount of funds your lab received. B through E should only include the annualized breakdown of your personal direct funding. And once again, another reminder, the only funding that does not count towards the 225,000 total are department-wide instrumentation grants, startup funds, and transition grants. Everything else must be accounted for. How do I fill in page two of the funding template? The chart will autofill based on the information that you enter into pages three through five. Three through five, excuse me. My proposal includes a collaboration with another PI, can I still submit? The Beckman Young Investigator Program provides for individual awards and co-PIs are not allowed. I'm currently in a non-tenure track position. Am I eligible? No, you must be in a tenure track position. Most common titles include associate or assistant professor. The website states that those with similar titles to tenure track can apply. This rule generally applies to non-academic labs, such as research institutes or national labs. These titles differ based on location, but you must perform in a role similar to a tenure track position. My research is within the confines of chemistry and life sciences, but we propose to use clinical research methods. Am I eligible? No, the foundation does not support clinical research. My Dean Chief Academic Advisor is out of the office or doesn't usually sign. Can I have someone else sign in their place? 
Yes, someone else can sign in the place of your dean or chief academic officer if they have the signing authority to do so. I noticed that you asked for independent evaluators on the letter of intent. What is their role with this application? The foundation asks for independent evaluators as a method to collect experts in the field of your research. We typically don't reach out to the names that you list unless um, we have a specific question with regards to your research. What type of feedback do you provide to applicants? The foundation does not provide feedback on the LOI or full proposals. What's the review process like for the BYI award? The foundation uses a multi-tiered review process and it's conducted by a general scientific committee who are experts in the chemical and biological sciences. But we'd like you to be very aware that they may not be experts in your field. So we ask that you do not write your proposal or your, your LOI in scientific acronyms and avoid um, any jargon. Tier one, approximately 100 applicants will be invited to submit a full proposal. Tier two, full proposals will be reviewed and approximately 16 will be invited to the in-person interview. Tier three, of the 16 interviewed, approximately 10 awardees will be selected. For additional information, please email the program officer at byi at beckmanfoundation.org. Thank you.